because we are just worried. People get starting to get crazy, think about neighborhood watches. Residents are living in fear after a rash of break-ins in the Myra Canyon area. We have a thief, a couple of thieves, they're doing their thing for weeks now and they just keep on going as nothing happened. So we have about 150,000 tourists going up to the canyon and of course we look to every car now super suspicious who are you what do you want here they tried to break into our adventure park they were standing in front of the gate two guys were inside scouting it out coincidentally found out that the owner of that stolen quad they were using sitting on it in front of the gate lives down the road and three police cars were searching by foot left and right of the road and uh, the guy escaped again through the bush because the many trails around us, they make it so easy to escape. Steal boy toys, quads, ATVs, machinery, tools. And they do that quite smart because they, they scout out the property beforehand and they know where things are. The big thing is not they, that they steal a quad or some tools. That's a minor damage. The big damage is here for the, for the community plus the few businesses we have here. Everything is outdoors, it's hard to lock, and if something gets stolen, um, it hurts your business because you might be out of business operations for one, two, three, four, five days. Multiply that with the daily revenue. The damage is way bigger than it looks like. If you recognize the people in the photographs, you're being asked to contact RCMP. For Castanet News, I'm Alana Kelly in East Kelowna.